Hello everyone, it is Leela and Bo and welcome back to my channel. My channel. Today we are talking about Queendom Season 2 Episode 6. Episode 6. Um, the best episode of the entire series, possibly of all of the different various Queendom and Kingdoms, hmm, I don't know. in my personal opinion. Maybe. Very good. It was um, so After a long good. Uh, six years of crappy news, it was nice to have something happy for once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My God. It's been a week. It's been a week. Yeah. Um, so for... Th oh, before we begin, I always forget... Please, if you enjoy these discussions and you would like to hear us talk about Queendom 2 in our recaps every Saturday, please subscribe to my channel. And two, leave us a comment. This time, leave us a comment that is your ranking for the vocal performances. We would love to hear what your ranking is. Yep. Okay. So for today's episode, we're going to discuss the unit round group practices. We got to see the um, dance teams practicing. They did some fun awards, mm -hmm. and then they did an interim evaluation. Um, and then we got to see the three vocal team's performances this week. Mm -hmm. And then to end today's episode, we'll discuss, we'll talk about a Reddit discussion of the day. Yes. Okay. Ready to begin? I'm ready, as okay. I'll ever be. Um, I should have taken notes, but I didn't, so I kind of have a slightly messy notes for this. Well, we were out last night, so um, and we didn't watch until today, yeah. so... It, it's a bit messy this time, but yeah, yeah. the first half of the episode was the rest of that workshop day, which consisted of them showing the dance teams, meeting their choreographers, which were the teams and the mm. producer for Street Woman Fighter. Yeah. Again, we didn't watch Street Woman Fighter, but I saw now, a little bit of it. I saw like two episodes. Yeah, but now I feel like I should. Yeah, I mean, um, it's if you're into, I mean, it's good for dance. It's a bit of a different style if you're not, if you're not cool with that kind of. Mm -hmm in your face kind of thing because they're kind of having to do that a lot mm -hmm. it's kind of a bit yeah it's um, fun it's fun so we saw a bit of that and then they did a fun like um personal ranking like voting for fun categories awards yeah, very thing cute. very cute um the interesting moments from these well we'll talk about the do you want to talk about the dance teams first or the awards first um did the dance teams go for the awards i can't remember i think awards went first well, let's, let's do talk the about awards. the awards it was funny they started out the episode talking about I forget what they actually called it, but it was like the the real sunbays of the yeah, show. Yeah, the real. And which I thought was really funny because I was waiting for the day when they would point out that Yeso is a senior to Hillen because she she was an actress as a child. Yeah. Um. So they brought that out, and that was really funny. But even before her, Unha was in a drama when she was little. Right. And then Dayan, which I didn't. I mean, I knew this. We knew it, but I don't think we'd seen like. The picture of her in the I had, drama? I had seen her talk about it on oh, something else. Okay. One of the shows you had. It was One a little variety. clip or something. Yeah. Um, Diane, was, I mean, when she was four years old, was in a drama. <laughs> we're being very technical to say that there's some being names. But it's, it's, it's adorable. It was cute. But so, it, I, I did yeah. notice, and we, we mentioned this, that uh, I think you might see that the new gen the, the 2000 born kids, which is, uh, for gen a lot of you out there, is perfectly Z's. normal. But the gen, whatever it's up to now... P kids who literally grew up with the internet in their hand, not just on their desk, but in their hand, um, seem to like they get started way earlier. Into maybe it's because mm -hmm. there's so much different forms of media now. There's also streaming media, so you have Diane staring at a movie, and so I, I, it's funny because I expected to hear. There are a lot other more. idols that were also child actors. Oh sure, and stuff, sure. Who kind of been in the entertainment? But to be fair, Helen uh, was the Sun Bay, of course, of in the music K-pop <laughs> yeah. industry. <laughs> yeah. She was one of the one of the trendsetters of this. She set yeah. the tone for but a lot of it. It was funny. She helped solidify really dark eyeliner for, <laughs> for years after that. The trend. That, that super dark goth looking yeah. eyeliner. It's so funny. And then they carried on the tradition from Kingdom, which I enjoyed, of everyone voting for who's the most beautiful. Yes. Um, um, this was funny because the, the I saw on the subreddit, um, maybe they listened to this, they were saying, oh, it's so funny how they put the halo around the winner. And yeah. I said they did that in Kingdom, go back and watch yeah. it. And it was, uh, I couldn't remember his name from B2B. He was the youngest? Minyuk. The youngest or oldest? I can't remember. He was the youngest. Youngest, I, very athletic. Uh, well, he might not be the youngest. I just he's I just like he looks like uh, if you took a Greek god <laughs> statue but made him Korean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he he just had that. He had yeah. that like I'm in the prime of my life. Yeah. I'm gonna go attack a Hydra, mm -hmm. you know, or kill Medusa or something. He just he has that. It was a really fun. So 
With this one, I was surprised shouting wasn't number one, but it's a generational thing, I think. But it's all, what's funny is about Ciola winning number one is for the longest time in WJSN, I would see her, and I always thought, I don't want this to sound bad at all, she what? looked older or different or something, and I couldn't place what it was. And it, she, she doesn't she have a baby so, face. Yeah, she, she has looks a so pretty. unique. She, she, she has that more mature pretty. Her and Xiaoting actually kind of looked alike. Sola yeah. and Xiaoting, they have similar features where all their features are very pronounced. Big eyes, full lips, very... Well, like the like, like the guy from B2B B winning pretty. in Kingdom, uh-huh. whereas there's a lot of young viewers probably think, what? But what's his name's on, you know, from that younger group's on there? Mm-hmm. I think that it just illustrates that in person, certain people just have an impact. You don't, <laughs> yeah. you don't, you see, like, even when you're seeing beautiful people all the time, as these idols do. I think in the beauty her, category, like, it was pretty divided. Everyone had, like, a different opinion. Like, there wasn't yeah. a... Yeah, but she definitely has a unique... But, you uh, know... Everything over, about her is very unique. Like, a single winner, yeah. like, of everybody. A lot of them they showed whenever they were voting. Like, lots and of all these, uh, There's not... A, everyone is beautiful. Every person on the show but, is beautiful. And then Heejin from... Um, Luna is second. Yeah, so it's just it was fun to see that, but it's also fun to deal. They obviously, it's not like they don't take it seriously, but they have fun with it, and it's it's also an opportunity to prop each other up a bit and Mm -hmm. make each other feel good. It it was really cute, and they they did the halo effect on Solo for winning, Mm -hmm, and because the episode kind of went this uh, point, this part of the show went on a little bit longer. There was a lot of opportunities for them. The and it, they had the sparkling sound every yeah. time she was Because I believe in Kingdom, he <laughs> had it really, a little bit, but he, he had, had the rest it, of the show. It, it was only for a little for while. The, yeah, they didn't show it. I it think was this, during Sports Day. Yeah, they so had they would run around and Kingdom. stuff. Go watch Kingdom, the sports. Um, their fun days this, were really fun. The Kingdom was just a hug fest compared to this. And this is pretty good, too. This this was a very hug festy episode. No, I mean, the whole series, though, is, but, they tried to make it more dramatic. And then they picked the recruit. Queen, the one that everyone wants to steal into their groups, and I think there was only the Hikaru and Dalian counted tied. as second, but I don't know if they. If I, that, I don't remember that they did a third, but either way, I mean, I come know. on. We, and then we know everyone who. wanted to uh, kidnap Hyeolin for their team. I mean, so. of course, Hyeolin's <laughs> a given. So you minus Hyeolin because there's also some but, that Sunday. But respect. everyone loved Hikaru. Hikaru. <laughs> is everybody? Everyone loves her. I say this all the time. There's there's no idol like Hikaru. She's <laughs> just a kid, and maybe uh-huh. she'll become. Either more her car later on, or she'll become more like a standard K-pop. You never know. No, but she's just got she's such very a. Unique. But at the same time, I have to give a lot of props to Diane. Mm-hmm. I like Diane. I've always liked Diane a lot. I think that she was a bit of a victim of people saying she was getting favored. You know, like she's not. Mm-hmm. She's not. She wasn't able. Girls to, Planet was messy. Yeah, she wasn't choosing those edits. <laughs> Girls Planet was just messy. Everyone. But as you watch Diane but, more, you yeah. see she has Hikaru's uh-huh. same. Uh, willingness just to go for it, mm-hmm. and so that's why I think people would want to recruit her. She's a very, very good. I mean, she's she's going to be so good at being an idol for the next uh, however long. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she's also funny. I like that she has a sense of humor. She's a little bit self deprecating. She really mm-hmm. is a nice little kid, man. A uh, you ch- uh, young awesome. person. Sorry, seems like um, to me. And then they showed the the dance teams meeting with the creators of their choreography for their songs. Mm. Um, the Luna slash Brave Girls team had, we talked about it a lot last time, they ca- kind of made it look like she was really mean, the lady that came in, Dolce Gabbana, Monica, yeah. who, again, we didn't was, watch was Street Woman from, Fighter. She was the she producer. She was the producer of Street Woman Fighter. She wasn't a contestant. She was a producer and of she Street wasn't Woman a, Fighter. She wasn't on one of the teams or anything, but she had just been doing this right. long enough that she had. Um, so it was her with Luna and Unji from... Um, brave girls and you know we had seen the preview that it looked like she was kind of hard on them and i mean she was a little yeah, this bit this is all we hear about more, with korean she kids. was um society is you get this tough love you know yeah she was getting some tough love but she was also just really seriously like saying you know i take a lot of pride in my work you guys need to like work really take hard pride in your work, and yeah. it was it was a <clears throat> so that choreography is the one that nobody wanted to do except for unji from brave girls like she chose that she had the opportunity to choose it, and she chose it for herself first. Mm. But everyone else, Luna, didn't want it, and they got pushed into it. And I don't it. think that it had to do We with... only saw, like, this very small clip yeah. of it. I think everybody just was unsure. Um, we didn't. We weren't sure be. why. Yeah. Now we've seen a little bit more of the choreography, and we know a little bit more why. It's tough. Because yeah. it's, it has a modern dance element of it, and there's a lot of floor work and stuff. And Unji... Um, has background in modern oh, dance yeah, she's great. and I love has her. done a lot of that stuff. 
Um, so that's why she wanted to do it. And it's like, oh, thanks for like at least giving that. And then it was really sweet throughout their practice. They really gave her the props for well, yeah, doing the, the best of them in that style of dance there. And she's like super flexible. They, were, they have to do the splits as part of this. They have to do this do really difficult floor yeah. work. Yeah. Like people weren't avoiding it because they thought it was bad. I think they were avoiding it because it looked hard. I am worried about it the, looked difficult. all the floor work. Sometimes that's kind of, it won't register it as much translate on but camera to sometimes. the live live people live audience um, but, but other than that but yeah. it looks really difficult so they were having a time and olivia was having a bit of a struggle and get, got scolded a tad yeah, if you if you guys <laughs> Poor olivia if you guys and girls and others out there listening uh, google go to youtube and put in debbie allen or put in fame and the old tv show series um. fame from the 80s <laughs> what she this tough love thing is not a k-pop exclusive thing what's interesting about it is in the 80s in the early 80s flash dance all that stuff there was a uh, uh, what's the patrick swayze dance movie you know mm-hmm. uh, i had the time Dirty dancing? it was a very uh, footloose there was mm-hmm. a series it was a genre of 80s dance movies right, right where yeah. there would be a teacher kind of like right. the mr miyagi of the and debbie mm-hmm. allen is to this day i believe she's still a choreographer she's an amazing and she had that tough love thing and uh-uh. fame and, okay. and if you watch a lot of that, you see so much of that. In K- but when we see it in K-pop, you go, oh, she's being mean. But you see it over here, and you're like, she's giving them tough love. And it's a very, yeah. we have to be careful about our uh, uh, cultural, cultural biases and whatever. You know, yeah. we have to, it's, it's an interesting thing. And the reason they cried at the end, because they cried when she was leaving, is, is we were talking about this, is because as idols, you the, the dance people on pretty... Uh, I mean, on a, a street woman mm-hmm. fighter, I saw parts of it yeah. enough to where they, like, when Cheyoung is on there, Cheyoung is one of my favorite idols mm-hmm. ever from uh, from uh, Eyes I, One. Yeah. Um, they would give her a hard time saying, you're just an idol, you're not a dancer mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And it's like, that's, it, it's a, there's a, those are different worlds, so you mm-hmm. can't really compare them, but a lot of these idols want to do more of that. Maybe, Us as K-pop you know, fans, like... I don't know anything about dance, and the only thing that I know, I've learned through being a K-pop fan for the past few years. So when I see an idol and they dance really well, to me, that's like, oh, they're amazing. But people who are more familiar with dance just Oh, dance. it's a world. It's a it's world. It's like a whole separate thing, and idol dancers aren't really the best in the whole world. A lot of the other dance specialists, all like street, the street women fighter teams and stuff, um, you know, are better than that. But again, just it's, us as it's a viewer, a I, I don't really care to go looking it's up a that sort of if thing. It's a different but, style, but if you look um, at what... You, you're not going to get away with a lot of stuff on Street Women Fighter on a stage in front of 15,000 people. It doesn't carry the same... It, it's, it, a it, it's a whole different purpose. Different world. It, the purpose is different. But, but what but I was anyway, saying is I think yeah. that they were crying not because they are upset, and they made it look like they were crying because they were yelled at. I don't blame him that for... That was an easy, low-hanging yeah. fruit edit, just for, <laughs> yeah. just for fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. that Nobody <laughs> can get a matter. They weren't making someone look mean. They were just like, check next week. Because yeah. technically there's crying. Well, I think, I think because they, yeah. they, they, they had felt a bit of an emotional uh, release and a bit of a beat down that they needed to kind of wake them up a bit. Maybe they were excited to do it. Maybe they were overwhelmed, but it just it fatigued. But I think it was just kind of an, I thought they might have been a bit maybe um, thinking back to when they first started and it was more mm-hmm. about you had to yeah, sweat. They've and, debuted now. They've been in it for a few years. Not that they're getting lazy they don't or have, anything. They don't have a like teacher that. like critiquing them well, I mean, maybe that they have, maybe they have a choreographer but, May, but they it's buy the song they buy the, they have a choreographer this is like that, you're you know are you good enough and so it's kind of bringing back a lot of those memories of them so i think it was you know it like kind of like a little bit of an ego bruise but nothing nothing no, big. but also maybe, and i think they'll do great maybe a bit of her saying that. look you're an artist you have to yeah, this is yeah, art yeah that uh, k-pop is not just generic but it, it it's funny because there's very yeah. basic forms of art you can write and you can write you can sing you can tell a story you can dance with nothing but your body you can create mm-hmm. art and and a lot of people mm-hmm. i think k-pop sometimes loses sight of how important uh, real i'm not saying real um different kinds of dance are different kinds of vocalization mm-hmm. so it, yeah. i just thought it was nice to that see was because hers was much more kind of artsy and yeah. stuff the um team with uh, wjsn members and with hyolin had the, the another team from Street Woman Fighter that mm, did their uh, choreography. It was uh, La Chica. Yeah, they were the Kaboom team. The La, oh, right, right. La Chica members did their choreography. Again, I didn't watch Street Woman Fighter. I keep I've said it like six times, but I know the La Chica members because I know the member who has bangs. 
that was in La Chica that went yeah, on Yeah, they're here, all so pretty and stuff, Is too. always the woman that dances with Taman. Yeah. She's, and yeah, she is really, insane. Yeah. She's one of those dancers that's in every, it just, you can like, see her in everything, yeah. She always stood out to me just in seeing her with Taman. She probably keeps in banks for and a She reason. doesn't seem to, you know. I, she didn't say much. I don't really know much about her, but yeah. I, she's very striking looking, yeah, so yeah. she recognize her, and she's really good. It, they had more of a fun vibe with them. They were just having, like, fun and, like, teaching them the dance, and... Uh, Unso is a big, a humongous goofball, so she was like trying to act tough. That's her. That's her. Uh... <laughs> and, just, and they were like, "You don't look tough." <laughs> no, but that's her. Uh, but you, you should, look you know, cute. She, she what are you still, doing? She can still sell it. Stop it. Um, that's what. But it, it was it cute. Got me, it, it got me a little worried, and we'll talk about the dance next week with Hyunlin's team, though. Is that they're doing something that we're kind of seeing with her as well, maybe a, a bit. It's not terribly uh, uh, unexpected. It, yeah, it's not going to. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. But the uh, the uh, uh, the first team with Dolce Gabbana uh, person and all that stuff. Uh-huh. Um, I think that they might surprise her. But the floor. It's. I'm interested to see because the floor yeah. work might. And the might not work. the last team was um, the Kepler slash. Oh right! Yeah, yeah. Um, Vivi's, Vivi's yeah. team with another of the. Street Woman Fighter teams with Holly Bang and Honey J made their choreography and um, Hertz was the one who helped. And, yeah, and she was again also just really nice and fun and having a good time. Yeah, but with you them. could tell they were doing. Um, they they were, were a little awkward together. I don't think they they didn't like immediately make friends with each other. No. They're a bit the VV's members are a bit introverted. The Kepler members are a bit young, so they they kind of like. Yeah, they were a little timid yeah. with each other, um, but so it, they're yeah, like their teamwork. I wouldn't say it was like the best on the first day, at least. Um, but they got to work. But you know? you know, anyway, all all three of the dance teams then performed a, a snippet of their choreography at the end for yeah. an interim ranking evaluation. The um, Kepler team like <laughs> they're twerking. What is with the twerking? They were like, die and twerk. Stop die twerking. And twerk. I know. At, then, the, at that point, it's kind of a meme and a joke, and, and they're then, having fun with it. But I'm like, no, you and stop. And then the car twerking. It was really funny. But they were like, oh, we're so shy. We can't do it. And then the music comes on, and they just like, they kill it. But that's yeah, really like, what like, that's really that's hard. how Hikaru got. And everyone's noticed. like, Hikaru is so amazing. When it's she because goes. she's like, able to like turn it on. But yeah. she has when she's turned off and just took her, she's like a just a little child. Yeah, she's, she's like so two different funny. people. It's funny. And Diane is in the same way, but Diane has Similar. a bit more of a of a smoother gradient from yeah. from from. <laughs> it's not a light monster. switch. Yeah, it's, it's the light light you know the dimmer instead of a light switch. And also she's you know, she's uh, her yeah, facial expressions. Cute. Well, she might and be she smiling, like, having a good time. I fell in love with her butt dance. <laughs> yeah, her butt dance. I think it was Chew, wasn't it? Said that. Chew. Yeah, I, I think Chew. I think you're. I fell in love with her butt dance. That's what I'm saying. Is I like you said. I think that might be expected i think it'll still be good mm-hmm. but i'm i'm almost in a way more interested in the dance and the singing because i, I you will see some differences that'll blow us away mm-hmm. or completely kind of fall flat emotionally mm-hmm. with singing it's kind of easy to pull at your heartstrings a bit you know it's an emotional thing but mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm eager to see that i thought it, that was a hilarious little moment though just a dance yeah. scene and, and then it. they were just all hanging out together again like with the whole group and doing it was re- just tons of little cute moments i mean that's like, i literally eat that stuff up for breakfast like it was so good that's and the multiverse i wanted to mention want to see you know uh like when they originally had gone together for all the dance representatives Shouting set next to Unso, and yeah, Unso made the effort to speak a little Mandarin yeah. to her, which was so sweet. Like I love Unso so much. Yeah, but when and then later they're all doing the uh, hanging around the fires, and I think she, there's a moment you can see her talking. Whenever shouting well. one uh, third in the prettiest, mm. uh, Unso and the another member from WJSN were saying you're pretty, but they were doing it in Mandarin. Uh, I guess the the WJSN, yeah. I guess they know a little bit for because they used to have Chinese so members in WSN. Members, yeah. My assumption is to be that's how she knows that stuff. But that just was like one of those moments that just like melted my heart. You can tell that because Shouting is really she's still struggling a with little language, bit lost. Yeah. You can tell she's yeah. still out of her element. She's, she's, I mean, to learn that much Korean, Korean in such a short yeah. time because I think it wasn't like Hikaru just started learning Korean right ten months ago. I thought yeah, she, she had done did. some no, earlier not stuff. Really. But either no. way. She had had both of them. I think she had a bit of a jump, or maybe somehow was it, better at it. But, but with Hikaru, she has like Mashiro, who's really good at Korean and Japanese, whereas mm-hmm. Chatting is alone. She doesn't have. It, you can be else. lost without but language. Anyway, yeah. so I really just sweet. wanted to mention that because it was the sweetest thing in the whole world. Well, that's what you want to see. Is you want to see some crossovers else. in this universe. Um, we got a bunch of it. It was cool. 
Then we went on to the performances for the three vocal teams. Up first, we had Sun and Moon, which was Luna Kepler. Um, before they did their performance, they always show the behind the scenes. Each team this time did a behind the scenes where they like had a little date. Yeah, it was really cute. And yeah. their date was to go to the Butterfly Garden. It was cute. It wasn't she like my favorite up, thing. They picked Young up from they school. They picked Young up from school. Which is just funny. <laughs> she was still in her she's uniform. Up to, well, to be fair, Young at that school was the celebrity. She's famous already. <laughs> yeah, so like, she's like, I'm just hanging out with more celebrity friends. Yeah. It was so funny. So they went and hung out at the Butterfly Garden. Well, you forget how really young Young is well. She's 17 yeah, or 18 or whatever. And she's, she's you know, she's in this world now. Very, yeah. very like serious. You got to take your responsibility. Yeah. And she's, she does and, great. Um, the song, again, I said last time I'm very biased towards this song because I love it. Exos don't go. Just, they, it was so beautiful. It did, it was it, so it, it did feel like beautiful. the end of a concert song, which is what they use it for. Yeah. And sometimes the end of a concert song, though, maybe this is subconscious to me, can be a bit emotionally, not deflated, but not as powerful because you're kind of... This is your, all right, we're tired. We're just, mm-hmm. this is like your, it's not the last this banger is, song. This it's is like, one thing that. You know what I mean? It's um, kind of like a little bit of a. Oh. I really noticed in this episode as someone who. I mean, if I had to pick at stuff, there's little stuff I have to pick no, at. But I, very I will little. say a thing that I noticed a lot as someone who on every K-pop album will put the whole album in my playlist except for the ballad. I never listen to anyone's ballads. And most people don't um, because you have to be in the mood for as it. as a K-pop fan who doesn't speak Korean, I just don't pay attention to lyrics. Like. I, I, I just don't, if, I don't if, really if, care. If I'm interested in the song, I do, yeah. Um, if I'm really interested. In so the song. if I have an opportunity where there's a song like this, where I can, you can tell it's sad, even if you don't know the lyrics. Um, is it uh, generically kind of like, or is it left open like it's a relationship, or it could be between the artist no, and the fan? Did you like, not read it? What no, I was going to say is that the the nice translators on Vicky who do the fan translations for mm-hmm. the shows translated the lyrics to all the songs this week yeah i know but i didn't even read um, them really so they were lyrics on screen which like i don't like i love this song i've heard it a lot but i don't really, i just don't pay attention to lyrics anyway oh. the lyrics for this song are beautiful <laughs> uh, is it so how do they it's read like so sad. is it between a fan and an artist or is it like relationship or is it's it left like open? it's a little bit like it could be interpreted as like somebody dying <laughs> oh well i mean you can interpret i don't know if they yeah intend it that way it's it's me like don't go don't leave me in the morning and be gone yeah, so yeah. there's like an element of it of like so you know, maybe flying away the... where like i feel that like you could interpret it as like so, someone dying but i could be wrong but i but the lyrics i just thought were really beautiful and again mm. the song the english translation for the name is don't go i think the actual like korean name or translation is like butterfly yeah because they mentioned the butterfly wings, yeah. in fact something, i thought something, their something. name was gonna be that so there's to the butterfly it's like part. And, and there's like some lyrics that talk about like butterfly oh. this and that. It's it's really beautiful. I'm like I I'm just I've been missing out is what I'm telling you, but it made it so much better, even better. This is so, somebody because made it, yeah. again it feels sad, but if you don't know what they're saying, it's not as sad. But they were like crying, young and in her literal perfect oh, tear. It's gonna be a gift forever. <laughs> the editors, the editors on this episode. No, that's why they have forty cameras guys going. They want to catch are, something. Like. I don't forgive all your evil editing, Mnet, in the past, but you've redeemed a t- little bit because it was just so funny. They were like, they called out her perfect tear that fell on the note. Yeah. They, they t- cut to Luna talking about the perfect tear that fell on the note, and then they put the camera clip of it in a museum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. I forgot that part. The point is, all their edits are doing evil or otherwise. They just want clicks and was, people to watch, you know. So, so whatever it takes to get you watched. So and I, like I'll watch a cry and single tear thing. Chayhan kind of cried a little bit at, at the, the end, end too. Yeah, got a, little, a, little a, a little emotional because um, it's a sad song. But so I, their the, harmonies were amazing. The, this group's Two, theme, eight. of course, was harmony. Yeah. Uh, you know, they went and played with that some more. My, if I had to quibble, because they all did amazing. Chayhan did amazing. There's a reason that they're they're sat or they're they're where they're stood on the stage mm-hmm. you'd think it was um uh oh shoot why am i forgetting your name there back in the blonde kim uh, lip? yeah kim yeah. lip who she's like seems to be the most popular member i hear her about her all the time mm-hmm. but you had it was really chan and chu mm-hmm. because they would do most of the harmonies with other people and they and chan is kind of the and young Un and chu right what i only kind of think hurt it a bit maybe 
Everything was perfect. It, I didn't think they needed a giant. I mean, Chu gave a big note, but I didn't think it needed that giant note. Chu ate that note. I mean, in other words, like, I should say. I've, I've, again, we. I always like to remind like the context of us as fans is that I'm not a huge Luna fan, so I don't know them very well. I, I knew on paper that she was a main vocalist. Yeah, I But see I can't say I've ever heard her I have from her, be her, like reality, one. her reality show. Okay. But she ate that note. She's always known as a it singer. It was incredible. Like, that's her thing. It was great. And the thing is, though, is um, I, I, I'm i not saying it doesn't need that note. What I'm saying is when you listen to all three, you know that they kind of want to put in that big note. Okay? I thought it was mm. a perfect amount. Mm. It was it, good. I think that might hurt them in the end. Maybe people react more to the big notes, I guess. I thought it was, other than that, I thought it was saying perfectly, but I thought that some of their voices sounded so similar. I, I, you I say that, have... but I actually feel differently. Mm. I feel like Cheyenne's voice has like such I know. a beautiful Cheyenne tone. I know, and Chu's are the ones who really stick out. Cheyenne has a beautiful tone. I thought um, Jin Soul has a beautiful tone. It's very different. It's a bit high. Yeah. It's almost nasally, but it's a very unique tone, and I thought it was really beautiful. Um so the two of them stood out to me a lot, and then Chu with the high notes stood out a well, lot. Well, but Chu has a vocal... But, but they, they did meld so well together, they weren't, like... Maybe that's what it was, is yeah. they just did a too good of a job harmonizing or whatever. It, But if you're just... I want to approach these... You have to approach them in different ways when you're judging them. You have to say, as a person who's watching the series and mm. knows the groups and knows the people and has your favorites... And then you have to say, if I sat on my mom, for example, and played her these three songs, you know, or... or Johnny off the street or whatever. Mm -hmm. And this one might, <clears throat> excuse me, this one might be the most popular because it's it, it's a very K-pop thing, like the end of the night song. That's it very, sounds like the song belongs to them and they are a group. It just it sounds like It doesn't sound that. like a collab and, and or it, a, it wasn't something, a lot a of people cover. might make a mistake. It just sounds like it belongs to yeah, them. Yeah, a lot of people might make this mistake saying that something like this is easier to sing than a louder than a big note or something. Each one of these songs was so good and so well mm -hmm. done that if I had to pick, that was about the only thing, mm -hmm. is that they just sometimes, their tones were about Similar. equal. No, I mean, they're all great. And yeah. Young Yoon, who wasn't supposed to be star vocalist in GP99, she was the mm -hmm. dancer or maybe mm -hmm. rapper, and now she's the vocalist as well. That's pretty amazing as well. She's, she's up there with some of the best vocalists in, yeah. the, in the game. She was always been good. Yeah. Chan's great. Yeah. So And everybody else. So I just... I think that this might sneak under a lot of people's radar because it didn't have that impact, emotional I think impact, but it was, my only it was fantastic. My minimal, almost, almost non-existent quibble is they didn't use the stage, they just stayed in one That place. as well, yes, that's another thing, um, yes, you mentioned they, that, yeah. The outfits and styling and everything was beautiful, they all looked so lovely. Somebody said this. And, but uh, they didn't use the stage, they just stayed in one place. I don't think so. I have it in my notes, so, I need to check, but yeah. somebody said, if it's in my Reddit discussion later, I'll, uh, mm -hmm. excuse me, but... Somebody said it felt a bit, and this is not a mean criticism, but like watching a high school talent show where they just kind of have their little spot and they don't have a big stage to work with and they just mm -hmm. kind of did their nice harmonies and did, didn't really... But I thought if they would have just spread just, out at a yeah. point, could you imagine if one had been down we in the audience? We haven't watched the fan cam versions yet where it shows us the whole stage. Right. I think whenever you were... If you were to watch it that way, you would notice that there was a lack of that using of the space. I think that's but, the theme you, anyway, we've seen with a lot of groups. They don't use Let's the move on to the next one. Yeah, but it's an amazing song. The next was Milky Way that held the universe. I don't know what their team was uh, called. It was very confusing. Held the universe in her arms and then Milky uh, Way. gave them a headache. Or head, head, what's it called? It's, it's a play on words of WJSN's name and Unha's name. Uh, Unha, Unha means, means universe? Milky Way. And uh, the universe is Uju. Uju. Uh, cosmic Girls. Cosmic Girl. <laughs> um, anyway. They did, they, this in a, the first, of, yeah. um, last episode, they hadn't decided on a song. They did decide on a song this episode. They showed a little bit behind the scenes of practice. They had a date on top of the building, on top of the starship Yeah, on top building. of the starship. People were like, it was somebody okay. said, this was not, that is not a nice looking spot. I'm like, that spot per month in downtown <laughs> no. Seoul or yeah. whatever is costing They were so joking about it, but it was like, you know, all the date in this it's episode cute, it's cute stuff. We're, we're pretty set up but it was cute i like the setup i i really liked the when they were in the recording studio and like That's doing the, best the parts i love that stuff i know they could have done um, that instead of the date and stuff, they, they spend a lot of time focusing on subin because she's very underrated as a vocalist in wjsn because yoon jung is just this powerhouse like by the way, the, so, for the longest time since i've been a fan of chokame i started watching 
um, going back and watching and listening to all their albums and stuff. They, their their B sides are more quote unquote normal songs, not mm-hmm. and they they have great stuff. I just love that little subunit. Mm-hmm. But back on their old videos, even people were saying Subin's always underconfident in her singing. You know, mm-hmm. it's a really uh, hard thing to get over. Mm-hmm. And then you put her in a group with the cutest little potato in the universe like she's so freaking cute it's not just cute she's like a princess yeah and she's older than both of them like if you put them side by side she they would have thought that una was the youngest probably because she's a baby she's in her voice and everything um and then you put you you take soup and you say none of that you're gonna sing this note that has that sort of tonal quality somebody who sings let me know what i'm talking about here that to hit it you're you have to kind of it like strains. It, strains it. it almost Yay! looks pain. Like when she was recording. Now it there are like, tricks to get around like, that. There are tricks you know, to get around. Like, it. not that it was pained in like that it was difficult, but, but pained you, in like uh, how do you get that emotion out of the song? Well, you could easily crack. I'm not it right as there. familiar with the song. It's one of IU's OST songs, one of, from her earlier career. After listening to it literally on repeat this week because I loved this so much. Yeah, it's, it's such a and the last easy two days, emotion to get into. It's such a good song. IU has like, I don't, again, She has to be a multi I don't listen to like a so lot of ballads time. and mellow stuff. I have to be in a very specific mood. And you should make a separate playlist just for like IU and Taeyeon and like all these types of OST songs and stuff. Because when I do love them, especially performed live. Yeah, it's a... Like, it's a, it's this a, it's is, a Great You're thing, just love. like shot straight in the heart. Like this is, I love it to be so much. It's, it's, I what's cool can't about, even what's express cool about, it. Anyway, real quick though with Subin, <laughs> they also put her in. They're all in these very sheer outfits. So they're carrying mm-hmm. off a look. Their dresses she's gotta, are beautiful. She's got to come up the stairs, and throw her dress behind her like a oh model. Oh my gosh! And, and all this stuff. You're you're so put on the spot, and it, you might as well be naked in front of your classroom in high school. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's that kind of a nightmare scenario. And then she's got to sing and put emotion into it. Oh, and they start off with just... Yunha, and I'm like, okay, she's doing her kind of pretty uh-huh. soft voice. That's uh-huh. her. And then uh, and then Young Jun comes in and like pulls a Bora and breaks glass and yeah. all that stuff. Which, she and Bora are like sisters. He, there's that they're kind the of a, same. There's that level of singing that some yeah. of they're just belters, which I like. And then, but Una answers her, does the mm-hmm. same line back and hits, not the same mm-hmm. level, but has a good. Showed that she has a good power in her voice, and then Subin comes in and kind of just sweeps, just sweeps She's you the just rest. Unexpectedly, of wow! Yeah, this is so good. This is the kind of a song that um, the emotion it's of so a song beautiful. like this it's is so, so sweet. variable. So you can take it. And you can say, "I feel happy or warm," uh-huh. or "God damn, do I think this song is so sad?" Or you can say, like uh, Young and said, it made me feel, you know, like warm and nice again yeah this and it you know everyone this week was doing sad song this wasn't a sad one it was like that bittersweet bittersweet uh, like like you know love song but it's just so if you look at the lyrics though if you watch the lyrics what's emotional about it is the girl in the song Uh is saying i it's like i'm frustrated i'm tired of waiting for you let's just make the move let's do let's do this thing yeah you know and but also this happiness that you've decided to be with this person (laughs) Maybe it's I such cry. a cute. It's such a pretty I cute. Cry. And then it's the, so beautiful. And it's like why? You know why not? Just put everybody in pink and pink flowers. And the pink flowers and the stage direction. Got a little tool the, going on, maybe. Oh I don't my know, is there god! Problem, the fans problem? blowing the air and the, blowing their hair in the wind. But a, it wasn't a, too much. It was perfect. A floral swing, like the way they staged Subin standing in the audience. Oh, we didn't mention this is the first time they've lifted the cheering ban in yeah, Korea. Cheer, yeah. There's a live audience. They can they cheer. They still have to have masks, but that's They fine. have masks. And they have light sticks. Yeah, like the queen them light so sticks. So, like, and she went and stood out in the audience. It was just like... The thing is, think about this. Is, this so is what I think good. was funny about that moment, is she didn't just teleport to that spot. Oh. They're getting ready to start the song. She comes up to the girl and says, "Excuse me, I'm going to stand here and sing." You know, just start like, standing. The girl like, was just standing by me. I, she smells I've so never, good. Like she I've probably never smelled, felt like, jealous and... of the people that get to see these live. I've never felt that way until now. I'm like, there are people that got to sit in that audience and see this performed live. Yeah, I am so jealous of we've, them. We've seen I'm we've so seen jealous. a lot of great live acts that have emotional parts. Oh. I, I, definitely. It you know, was, in K-pop and otherwise, but this was just a, such a pretty moment. Everything was surrounded. It was just a nice thing. It was so and beautifully I, and done. And to be fair, uh, to, I, this is nobody's fault because um, I can't remember who made the order, 
But they, uh, who, I can't remember who it was, but they didn't know that the emotional impact of songs, mm. but it goes almost perfectly. You have mm. kind of the childish, naive, naive kind of sweet first song with the beautiful harmonies. Mm. It's the emotions building. Mm. You have this one where it's a sweeping, uh, Epic. Let's, let's do this. And then you have Hill and, uh-huh. and yeah. Minyoung falling up. So it was, Just, for me, emotionally, it was a great mix. Literally, literally this stage, this song, the styling. The outfits, the dresses, the pink cherry blossoms. But this... Like, this was made for me. This is my yeah. taste to, uh, You don't like want to hear perfection. it all the time, constantly. It's when it hits, no, it hits perfect. But th- you know? this, for me, like, when it hits, is just... It is perfection. <laughs> well, it, was a, it was a good end cap to... Like, now, granted... I can't. You have to... The I episode cannot. is ending with this because they edited it that way, but it's a great cap yeah. to an, an audience. Anything was, else on this one before we uh, No, I'm just next. saying that it was... my... If I have to pick, because we have to pick... I like to pick quibbles. We'll, I like to try to force we'll myself. tell our ranking in a minute. I know, but what I'm saying is maybe because Young June was so much louder, I do hear that criticism a lot, that when you have a belter, it I kind of pops. I love that style, I know, though. but it kind of just does... She was saying this in the recording studio, too. She might be a little overwhelming but then they were doing these delicate little harmonies and stuff so just Mm-mm. they they each showed that they could not only sing but they worked together well and that was like, after a people week that can them. sing beautifully to me it's like magic you're like a, a superhero well, you're using you're, nothing except your voice. i don't know it's anything great. about singing but i love music so much that when someone can sing beautifully it, you're like a superhero to me anyway, yeah no it's good it's like, very good it's my it was well, beautiful we'll beautiful and last, we had the 33s. Now, with 33s, forgive me for saying this, was that well, their age? That's their age, okay. yeah. Um, these are the 33s. It's Hyola and Min Young. Um, they showed, they everyone else went like on picnics and stuff. They, um, Min drunk. Young cooked dinner for her and Hyola, and they got drunk. <laughs> the, I think that might no, be, they didn't get drunk. They just drank Yeah, alcohol. I think because it's a little bit more um, socially okay. And talked too. about, like, stuff that you know talked about their experiences they're the leaders of both of their groups they're the same age they've been through a lot you know and stuff like that so i liked their little bonding moment yeah and then they also showed a lot of them in the studio and everything of them getting ready it's been weeks now and min young is still has a cough of from course we're you can have a cough COVID. for years it, they think after this stuff it's gonna be it's crazy. just so difficult the people who have it six months that i i knew had it that and we she still have and she months. like picked the song that's like really challenging but um Hillen with her was very very tough love and very like you have to have the feeling that you're the best be confident she just kept saying to her over and over confidence couple, confidence confidence yeah a couple notes on that is that i think that it not everybody will eventually um uh, like that's just maybe that's just Min Young. maybe she's not quite the type to eventually kind of lets it all go or says something or mm-hmm. or maybe she's not as emotional as a singer because she is it's more not no more of a job but you know she's a professional less than I, I don't know do you know what i'm saying like there it i felt like she was trying a bit to get min young to to you know kind of be more confident and do this and all that which is great but I, maybe it was that min young wasn't really that far away from there already she just felt kind of yucky mm-hmm. she was still kind of recovering from covid mm-hmm. for, for the whole probably the, most of the run mm-hmm. of the show so I think that, not that it was a mistake on Hillen's part, I, but they somebody was said on Hillen's Instagram, she was saying how bad her throat really was in condition. Mm-hmm. That will be like if you ha- you get invited to a party and you feel sick, mm-hmm. like just even nauseous. Let's say mm-hmm. you would just be not in the mood. It would it was really hard to mm-hmm. get over. And then now you got to get up. And by the way, a very uh, scandalous T-shirt thing. <laughs> she looks amazing, of course. But you know, you, you again, you're exposed. Mm-hmm. You're solo. There's no real music covering up your vocal mm-hmm. and. Second thing is that when people talked about this one, uh, of course, Helen hits the notes and stuff like that, and she sounds great, and she has emotion in it. Some people, and I'll read this in the maybe the Reddit comments, thought that she might be kind of doing a similar thing the whole time. You know, like she's kind of mm. always doing that kind of same... I don't think so. But I, she's still sticking out on the show for being I, so good, so it's like, I, I don't um, know. If I had to pick. This song, again, is one that we didn't It's know. amazing. It's she called To amazing. My Youth. I forgot to put that on the screen. Um, and it is sung by a duet originally who sing it. Like, in a sort of, It's a very minimalist song. Is it? Okay. A very minimalist. Is it piano and stuff? Uh, yeah, like, mm. you know, very minimalist. Um, and 
but again, same situation with the lyrics here, but even more so. Um, I think you have to hear, know what the lyrics are saying to get this song and stuff. Yeah, it could and have been about so another the, subject. So they, but, yeah, they put it on the screen. Wisely. Um, because again, he all had the idea. Just this abs- the song choice was just absolute genius perfection from her. The, having the two of them do it together was a genius perfection. Some people also had She's the, a creative director. Some people like, also had the criticism or seemed to have the criticism well, that Hyolin seemed... To be not really getting an input from Min Young, but in giving her, the, her when it when they're not sunbays or anything, they're equals. She said it several times. Yet, but I think it was honest to gosh. I think it was Hyolin being Hyolin. She's in charge. Yeah. You know, it's not that she's in charge, but she's confident in what she's doing. She's been surviving on her own merits for years, and so she took Min Young. Just didn't seem like she was willing to put it in, or maybe her energy wasn't there to come up because she was still feeling kind of rough. But uh, Hillman took the lead, and I don't think there's anything wrong no, with no, that. No, no, I don't either. I'm just saying that I, I, I could see how people could think that. Um, I think that's fine. But she, she knows what you need to do to get things done, and so she didn't, and she didn't like compromise on that. With right, her. but that doesn't match everybody's um, personality, though. Well, that's a, and, yeah. and, and, I, and I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying it's just true. But having said that, what I was saying about her singing and doing kind of the same bluesy, she can just hit. She's a good, great singer. Uh-huh. I don't know if she's known she as a singer or more of a rapper or dancer, singing. but her singers, obviously, yeah. she's a monster. But people were comparing Min Young's, I think, voice to her and kind of saying, well, Min Young didn't do as much of a kind of a flareful type singing. So, and I'm like, no, you got to understand, y'all. Min Young was doing what. She want, She was actually being completely honest in her singing, I think. There was no pretense and no... So she, it wasn't like she was doing bad or anything. She was just... It, like like Hyolin mm-hmm. said, maybe you should kind of act like you're talking it through almost. Like, mm-hmm. don't worry about how you're singing it on key. Just sing it with the emotion. With the emotion yeah. And that's what she's doing. And then she hits the high note, and it didn't have it was... the biggest echo on it like Hyolin's did, but it was, it was a great matchup. But at the same time, two different styles of singing in a way. I thought you know, they, I thought they complimented each other. I thought other so really too. Well. I thought their tones of voice were I thought, amazing. It was. I thought they ex- they expressed the story of the song perfectly. Yeah. I thought both of their vocal styles. I love them. I Hillen agree. I agree. Has a strong and powerful voice, but she can work delicacy and yeah, vulnerability. Very, very and quiet. Yeah. Almost like Whisper. it's going to break. Like, her voice is going to break in any moment. That's hard. Like, it's very hard. Like, but what it, I'm it's saying, a, it has almost a rough quality. What I'm saying is the criticism the I saw, and but, I'm only talking about because this was such a bare song, mm-hmm. and so much, so many, many people were expecting so much of it, that did they want Myung Young to do a similar thing to Hyolin, and then you had two hits? No. No. Imagine if, I like to, I kind of imagine this as a, as a man and a woman, a, a, a duet. Minion was doing the man. It was a bit lower toned. It had a bit. It wasn't so flowery and stuff. But then they and the notes at the end combine. Mm-hmm. But Minyoung is still carrying the bass um, mm-hmm. harmony, mm-hmm. and and Hyolin weaves over it. Mm-hmm. They had their separate jobs. They weren't supposed to do the same job. I, I think people are confused. Like, if, do you know what I mean? mean? We've we've always said from the beginning explain, that Minyoung is a good singer. I, lo- I love her. She is a good singer, and this is the way in which she sings. She has a clear, powerful voice. It's not that musical theater clear power like Yeon Jung, but it is a clear, powerful. And I thought she did literal perfection I, considering yeah. everything. I'm just like, saying I think people were... I think people were... What, people didn't like it? <laughs> I think a lot of people didn't, didn't like, like it, it because... Why? It felt you to me... Fight? It felt to me... <laughs> I'm like, going to fight you. Well, I'm, and I'm not... Again, I don't <laughs> want to pay attention. And they weren't being negative. They were just saying what they felt. It felt to me that people were confused as though they had to completely no. match each other. And I'm like... No! The, the brilliant thing about this song... Um, although it was my favorite, but the brilliant thing about it is that it was two different people who weren't best of friends. They were becoming friends. Right. And this song shows their relationship. In the end, they harmonize. Uh, mm-hmm. That breaks your heart. You know, you didn't know yeah. why. They're, and they're not lyrics. They're harmonizing at the end. They're, t- Just you know, tones, yeah. sounds. that You don't need lyrics. So mm-hmm. any person in the world could be moved by that. And so I think that, and also Min Young's ex- Exposed. It's just uh, everything about the staging. It's very was vulnerable. Just, it's very vulnerable. It was, it was a beautifully staged and told story about vulnerability. The lyrics are extremely vulnerable. They're very dark. It's a very dark song. Was the stage was dark. Um, she. It's very minimalist. She was just sitting on the floor, and then they walked together. Um, like you could see it, and people could see like, it, and stay with any was, of these in a way. But in a way, this mostly that this was. Oh, she's being pretentious, sitting on like artsy and stuff. Just. 
be pretty and stand there and sing. And I'm like, this is a different thing that Hyolin is going for. But She's people going for, love that sort of stuff. I think do, the audience ate this up. I do. I agree. I, well, the live audience. I think that they're going to win on the I live audience I think when you take vote. K-pop, though, you tend to have K-pop vocalizations that are K-pop. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty, whatever. And mm -hmm. then these will be the the soloists or whatever that are kind of on the edge of the uh -huh. style. This is not necessarily the, the usual K-pop style. This is like no. a ballad or an OST style. But that doesn't mean it's K-pop. That means it's a... Like Celine Dion is this not is pop. This is even like know? an OST. This is like an indie. It's just yeah, but song, what like is song. like? In the, I'm glad you said vulnerability because they're also singing about age. Yeah. In an industry that does not respect a woman over a certain yeah. age. Yeah. Uh, men as well, but uh, totally, especially women. Yeah. And I think that Min Young, again, I don't know her for sure. I don't, but I have a feeling hearing what I heard of, I've read about the Brave uh, label and stuff. Is, you know, she's been through some real hard stuff. Mm -hmm. And so has Hyolin, but I think Hyolin's just further down the journey than Min Young. Yeah. So she felt like, she really, really felt like she needed to help her. Right. But I think Min Young was going at her own pace. Yes. And that's what was beautiful about that's, it. It's yeah. a, it wasn't a perfect instant. Uh, they didn't both just ball out cry. It, uh, no. Now let them do this so in a month. From, I want to see them do more of this stuff, mm -hmm. and then you'd see some, mm -hmm. uh, they blow you away. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't my favorite because I, because, I don't know, I just really like the middle one so much. But no, like, the this only was just reason, its own thing. Like, I loved it. And, like, when I you watch it with the lyrics on screen for the first time and you watch the whole thing, it's just like, I was trying not to cry. It's so sad and so beautiful. But like, I, I, I get it's so hard for me to explain things. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a weirdo. I don't talk normal. But the, everybody was concentrating. Because it's Yolen, everybody, I think, was concentrating on... They had so much I don't expectation. Think, I think those and it's like, people this is don't just get a, it. It's just, this is totally in line with what she does. Well, I know, but this I'm just is, saying that... This is like... Because I've said for all of her stages that she's a creative genius and like has a directorial vibe. And yeah. that's what she did here. It's she, not necessarily it's my like, favorite vibe of music, but uh, neither is opera, but I respect the yeah. hell out of opera singers, yeah. you know? And no. it's, it's that kind of a thing. I, I just think that if... I do see how people were like, she's taking charge a little too hard, and Minion didn't sing as well as her. It's like, you're not looking at the story that, now granted, they mm -hmm. told it through editing, but it was still there. There is, that song was the perfect encapsulation of their little moment together. Yeah. It was just a nice little story. You literally you know? couldn't have done any, the two of them couldn't have done anything more perfect for the two of them. Yeah, and I... The, I, the story, the staging, the song choice, the performance that was just so vulnerable they weren't hiding behind anything they had almost nothing supporting yeah right I, there. I, I just yeah if something that had gone wrong yeah. like the like the courage and bravery and like it, it was beautiful like, right. i think i, I think he all wanted it, it to go she was really worried about min young feeling good yeah. stuff and i think it was kind of like one of those things of like you're just gonna have to let your child go through this or let your person get hurt you know it was mm -hmm. a, it was a journey that min young was on with her help mm -hmm. and she talked about that but uh, I just thought it was a nice little, uh, uh, especially being that they're the older section of the groups, mm -hmm. and it's like uh, these women can do this for another fifty wow. years probably. I mean, was, this is insane. The only reason it won't go on my playlist is because it's too sad. To, that is another <laughs> it's thing. Too sad. That's probably why it's not one of my faves. I can't. It's just too sad. You have to it be just, in the mood for it's it. It's heartbreakingly but, sad. I mean, but I, know, I always bring this up as a joke, but it's true. It's, the, the soundtrack to Titanic sold. So many copies because people want. So maybe sad. they drink a little bit. They're like, no one's looking. I'm going to put that in and just cry for a while. Ugh. You know, I I just thought it was a very it's nice so moment. Sad. But I thought it it, yeah. it was just it was just you couldn't have planned it better. Mm -hmm. It happened that way. It wasn't exactly how I thought it was going to go or exactly how I wanted it to go, but it went perfectly. Yeah, you know. I, so yeah, if that all makes sense. Not really, but okay. okay. Um, they did show the the rankings to the members of the vocal teams um, based off of the live audience performance, but they didn't show it to us. But they showed us their reactions. Oh, that's fine. So I my prediction care. based off of their reactions no, you got was you got Hyolin in first place. And why? Why? Based on Hyolin. what? Hyolin laughing? When she laughed? When she showed him the card? Is Are you basing yeah. it on when their reactions? We didn't see the card. Remember that she was showing right. it? Are you based, right. oh, so you're talking about based off of those reactions? That, yeah. That, I thought that too, like, he only did that funny laugh she does, but she does that good or bad. So I was like, no, no that doesn't And she help. also did the same thing she did with her team where she was pretending like it was low, but it wasn't. I know, but and it also, wasn't, it wasn't low. So it was second. Proud. It was second. She looked so proud. No, I, my so? full prediction, they have first place, 
Um, yeah, because it was the impactful. IU song, second place, third place for Kepler. Because uh, um, Young Un said, we've never got this rank before, and even three they've never gotten well, before. Well, so. yeah, uh, Hikaru says, well, that's we didn't get prediction. number three either. And she's like, well, that's why I said that. I didn't write down on the screen what our rankings no, were. What were your um, rankings? Personally, I'd put, I'd put, you know, Vivi's and, mm-hmm. and Subin, you know, number one. Mm-hmm. Um, I would actually rather, if I had to sit, go on a desert island and listen... I would have Kepler and Luna second, mm-hmm. and then I would have Hyland. I, I think though you're right. Hyland's probably going to be number one, Subin second, mm-hmm. and and uh, Kepler and them third. But it's it's so minor. I, you know what I had to ask myself is which and I paid attention to this. I always pay attention to this with anything. What song do I, like? Were we watching this the episode? Which songs do I w- want to rewatch that part? And which songs mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, I've seen this three times. And it was the the uh, the WJCN mm-hmm. VV's one. That that's my number it's, one. Well, it's a good vibe too. You can, it's Just not so depressing. Every, literally every aspect of it for me was to my taste, and it was perfect. Oh yeah, all the flowers. Um, and stuff. And second, I would just give it to Hill and and Min Young for the just raw emotion of that performance, and then you know Kepler and Luna last. Not because they were bad. No, this is, this no. is like they just didn't a, have like a, you know. a hair's difference in preference. Like, I think they're all Kepler Luna. Some I of think the best songs didn't do I've as much of a show. bang as the other ones emotionally. Otherwise, I think, yeah. and they didn't use the stage. So I'm, I think live, mm-hmm. but a beautiful, beautiful song. Mm-hmm. I, I absolutely loved it. I, I, it makes me want to see Min Young do more. Now I don't watch Brave Girl live stuff. We might watch them if they come here to concert or whatever. But I've never seen like mm-hmm. a live show of theirs. Tell us if we should go to Brave Girl's yeah, concert. Yeah, I'd like to. In the comments. But I would love it if Min Young does, and they all do mm-hmm. like a. She comes out and does a dance, and then Min Young does a mm-hmm. solo. And uh. um, so next week we'll get to find out what those rankings actually are. We'll get the dance performances and their ranking, and then it will go into the uh, round three part two, which is the fan choice song. Mm. Um, so that's what's happening next. Mm. Today for a Reddit discussion, instead of a specific thread with a question, we have some of the best comments from I the stole, live... stole, stole information. Uh, best comments yeah. from the live uh, thread on Reddit from the, the episode these, six. I so think what did you have? As usual, other people explain it better than I could probably, but um, the I just took kind of a good and a bad from each group. So like, mm-hmm. I liked it, I didn't like it as much. Okay. Kind of, you know. Okay. So on Luna and Kepler, which was uh, Sun and Moon, mm-hmm. right? Uh, user L-A-X-U-Q-I-V, Luxukiv. Um, as the unit with the largest number of members, I think the performance they delivered was rather underwhelming. They sounded nice, but a brilliant high school talent show kind of nice, not a relatively established and seasoned pop group kind of nice. I personally liked their song choice the most, so it would have been much greater serve for me had they done more harmonies and shown more colors with their pretty voices. I kind of get what they're saying. The difference in the voices wasn't enough sometimes. I wanted to hear more solo personality. You heard it in Chu and Che and mostly. If I, like I said before, what was lacking in their performance wasn't really the singing. It was the staging. Yeah, yeah. I would have liked to see them do something. Yeah, but But also the song was, you know, a good uh, person who said their user, they're not there. They don't know who they are. I guess that's what this is. Um, these aren't as flashy as being a big belty notes or a big emotional appeal, meaning the other two songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it is still an impressive show of vocal skills. And to be fair, the song wasn't devoid of big notes, just no huge notes. I mm-hmm. agree. We've had groups make it from their harmonies like the mamas and the poppies, papas, or arguably a cappella singing in the same general area. Divas aren't the only audience. Divas aren't the only audience wow moment. I think meaning yeah. that you don't have mm-hmm. to do that. Ah! All of that, yeah. it does hit you pretty hard live. Mm-hmm. Um, BJ, back, boy, uh, Brave Girls in Hilland, uh, user Mrs. Ka, Mrs. K-A, M- M-S-K-A. Um, I think people are underestimating the power of emotion in a vocal performance. It's one thing to sing well and another to affect someone emotionally. Mm-hmm. Their performance was solely focusing on transmitting the emotion and tone mm-hmm. of the song and lyrics to the Korean audience, Korean all in caps. Yes. It was written in Korean. Yes. Right. yes. That's fine. The whole lyrics are in Korean, and the screen graphics were also Korean lyrics. The lack of subtitles with the stream makes this worse. So I think the language barrier could have affected non-Koreans' experience mm-hmm. for the performance yep. of the performance. Yep. They could score highly in the Korean live audience votes, but I'm not sure about the international ones. Uh, you know, that's and the rest is just kind of a technical part. So I agree with that. It was it was uh, she. Hyolin wasn't worried about 
put English on the screen or whatever. And whatever um, but. That's why I said, yeah, it, in watching the full episodes, I got to see the lyrics and I thought it made everything better. Yeah. True, yep. but I still I was still knew it was yeah. some okay. gut punch stuff. Oh, it's a gut punch of a uh, song. <laughs> user Nance Igonyama. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, Helen sang extremely emotionally, yet it felt like it's coming from her technical, her technique rather than her feelings. The emotion mm. she delivered through the song was very constant, and now raw, and no rawness could be felt. So that's what I was kind of mentioning. That a lot of people had this idea that we've we've kind of heard that Helen before. She's very good at that. So is it she just falling back on that? Mm, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't uh, feel that way. You know, when you watch these shows six times in a row, you you know. Um, Vivi's and Cosmic Girls, who was okay. uh, uh, you know, in the universe people, whatever. Mm-hmm. User Juto, J U U T O, says Universe and Yunha Yun- gave a truly beautiful performance. My issue here um, is that they might have overdone it to the point where it comes off as normal pop performance with good vocals rather than an actual vocal unit performance. I mm-hmm. think this won't meet people's expectations of what a, unit, a vocal unit performance should be, and it won't win because of that. That's probably my favorite performance since it's much more appealing to people who don't understand Korean due to how flashy it was. I can see mm. that, but I caught enough. Mm. I think I saw enough vocal quality there that you could... I think the song is one of those that like we don't know very well, but is very popular and like had history. It was uh, like a it was a very popular song. People I can have see a lot that, of though. nostalgia for that song, I think. I can see people saying, thinking that it wasn't really a vocal show, showcase as much, but... Uh, okay. Whereas Kepler and Luna did the harmonies, which is vocalization mm. technique, so... Mm. Uh, user Disastrous C four one five zero said they had the best chemistry as a group. A beautiful stage, good song choice, and standout vocal moments. There was nothing lacking. Young June pr- pr- proved once again that she's one of the best K-pop vocalists. Yoonha's sweet tone added character to the songs, and Subin tied it all together, balancing them. I could feel the emotions watching this performance. Hundred mm-hmm. percent agree. I, mm-hmm. I, there was easier things in my life to decide. Like the decision to have children or not have children, to buy a house and not buy a house, to pay your bills on time or not. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, do I want to, you know, blah, blah, blah. All those, mm-hmm. this, that, those were all child's play compared to this decision. <laughs> but my gut feeling was the Subin, Vivi's, uh, I am head over heels for Subin now. I, always, I, liked, her in, I liked her in Chokome anyway, uh-huh. but you could tell that she's always been a bit more... She's obviously willing to step out of her comfort zone to Chikome and stuff, but this gave her the chance to seem, I'm not, I don't want to say more mature, but like a serious artist mm-hmm. for a minute. And mm-hmm. it was so beautiful. And mm-hmm. I liked that she had a hard time with the note. That means she grew and got mm-hmm. better. And she can keep, you mm-hmm. want to see a story like that. So mm-hmm. that was my jam. Kepler's was, was jam. Um, and, and Luna's was completely beautiful, but I want to hear that at a concert more. Mm-hmm. And Hyolin and uh, Min Young was gorgeous and all that stuff but man you got to be in the mood for that i mean mm-hmm. myself it's beautiful stuff mm-hmm. good it was good so thanks for the free content everybody keep it coming <laughs> and i think that's it for us today the only thing that i knew that i wanted to say that i didn't is that um we saw kepler and luna hanging out and becoming actual besties yeah that was cool um so that means orbits and Keplians cannot fight on the internet. And if the you war? have ever fought on the internet as a member of those fandoms with oh, one of the other fandoms, I love fighting Luna. you should be ashamed of yourself. Well, That's all I wanted to say, and I didn't have a place to add that in, because, yeah. We me- you mentioned uh, you mentioned Anyang, who's a, a person from Korea who does the translations. Yeah, who's his, a fan of both. His favorite groups are, was with Luna first. He was, he Luna was Luna first. translator first. Then he fell in love with Kepler, and he loves them both. And, and seeing I thought, them be true besties. I thought, man, he's a head These two fandoms though. cannot fight. That's cute. You cannot fight. It is similar to a uh, Mom Bay Bay and Carrots. Monstax and Seventeen are friends. Oh, you really? two cannot fight. I didn't know that. Okay. You cannot fight. I wanted to go beat up And if you do 17. fight, you're disrespecting your faves. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But uh, so far, WJCN, Cosmo no Girls are the group that I'm... I've, I've always li- I've all liked uh, all these groups, but I, love I really love Dawn. Oh man, I love Dawn. Like they, they seem like I love fun Uso. to hang out. I want like there. Someone asked a question a long time ago, like if there was an idol that you wanted to be friends with, like who would it be? Like, and I've always felt Dion like, be hard like to hang literally out with all no the time. one. She's a bit much. Dion? I love her death, Dion. No way. No, you, Unso. That's why Unso is easy. And I'm like, and I, I think for Dion, the first but... time, I feel like I, I want to be friends with Unso. Like she is the type of person that I want to hang out with. 
She, she's she a reads, good time. As, as crazy as she is, she reads the room well. Yes. And she know, she has really good timing on she crazy has. comments. Yes. Dion just screams all the time. She's like, ah. <laughs> I, I love that so much. I love her voice. The two of them. Yeah. I want to be friends with them. I love them. I love them. I love WJSN. Yeah, it seemed like somebody could just hang out with um, I love them. Yeah, okay. so more from them hopefully next week. So next week we'll is what, dancing? We'll see you next week for episode seven. We're here every Saturday on my channel. Let us know what your rankings are in the comments. Thanks for listening. Yep. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.